Hi, I'm Derek, a product lead on Microsoft Teams. I'll be joined later by my colleague, Diana, and we work on collaboration in chats and channels. In today's session, we're excited to show you the new chat and channels experience and how we'll help you connect, focus, and collaborate. We've been listening to our customers' evolving needs in the AI-powered workplace, which requires faster, simpler, and smarter solutions to achieve more. In the fall of 2023, we released the new Microsoft Teams client. It's faster, twice as fast, and half the memory, and getting even faster as we continue to optimize this year. It's simpler. We made a number of user experience changes, supporting multiple accounts, and simplifying the default experience while adding capabilities for power users. And it's smarter, with intelligent recap and Copilot integrated throughout. Our customers are our greatest source of inspiration, and we've been listening carefully to the challenges they have. Customers tell us that there's always so much going on that it can be hard to focus. And when you focus on one task, it can feel like you're missing out on other important things. So despite being always on, it feels like we're all still playing catch up. And we're getting overloaded with meetings, even when work can be accomplished asynchronously. Today, we'll be looking at how teams can help users stay on top of all their conversations and collaborate more efficiently with their work groups and stay focused. Before we dive in, we wanna call out a set of key principles guiding our product improvements. First, we wanna offer a simple product that can be powerful when you need it. We wanna let you customize the experience to suit the way you work. We serve a very large user base across industries and one size does not fit all for the diversity of users we support. Second, we wanna promote better collaboration in fewer places. This will help you catch up and stay on top better reducing the fragmentation in communication and collaboration that happens today. And third, we want you to be productive by staying in the flow of work, reducing context switching, and have tools that adapt to the way you work. Now, let me pass it to Diana to share about recent innovations and the new Chats and Channels experience. Before we show you what's new, let me touch upon some of the capabilities we made generally available recently to help you stay focused and declutter your digital workspace, as well as improve productivity. We have heard your feedback on noisy notifications. To make it easier to focus, we're helping users reduce noise with easier to understand settings for your notifications across meetings, chats, and channels. For meetings you haven't responded to or where you are marked as tentative, Meeting chats are muted until you send a message, and you can change this setting to your preference. By popular demand, you can now hide the general channel in your team to optimize for your needs, or rename the general channel to a more meaningful title to improve the clarity and relevance of channel names. And if your project is done, you can archive the channels, preserving all of your content while simplifying and cleaning up your channel list. We're dedicated to building tools to help developers work smarter and do what they do best, build amazing products. Over the past years, we've introduced many features to help with quick navigation, like new keyboard shortcuts and slash commands and enhanced capabilities to share, copy paste and edit code blocks in real time. Bring more creativity and expression into your conversations with custom emojis and reactions. You can use custom emojis to efficiently share status or share a lighthearted reaction. We recently announced the next step in our journey to shape the future of collaboration with the introduction of the new Chats and Channels experience. This new experience is designed to help you collaborate more efficiently and effectively. It is simple by default, enabling everyone to stay on top of what matters and powerful on demand, allowing you to organize information and communicate your way.
That was cool. Here is what you saw. With the new Chats and Channels experience, we are simplifying your digital workspace by adding chats, teams, and channels into one place under chat. This integrates both chat and channels into your critical workflows, making it easier to access, triage, and organize your conversations. Filtering, search, new message, all these experiences are now included at the top of your chats and channels list, so you don't need to remember whether the conversation you are looking for is in a chat or a channel. You can now organize all of your chats and channels into sections. Use the default favorite section, which brings together all your existing pinned chats or channels, or create your own custom section. The new experience is supported on Windows, Mac, Web, iPhone, iPad, and Android. It's optimized for each device, and your sections and organizations sync everywhere you go. Now, let's see this in action in our demo video. Diego has just started using the new Chats and Channels experience. As you can see, we've brought chats, themes, and channels together under chat. Let's walk through his list of chats and channels. Diego's existing pinned chats and channels have been brought over into the favorite section for one easy to access place of his top priority conversations. Below favorites, Diego has all his other chats in a list organized by recency. And after that, he has all of his teams and channels organized just like before in Teams. Now, let's show you how Diego can catch up and stay on top of his chats and channels. To help him focus on what's most important, you can click on the unread filter to filter by unreads, displaying only his unread chats and channels. You can filter to just channels as well, to narrow down to unread channels. These filters are persistent, so when he leaves and comes back, he can pick up right where he left off. If he needs to find a specific chat or channel, he can filter by keywords in the list to find chats and channels related to that topic. Diego can use keyboard shortcuts to help him take common actions more quickly, and one of them is Control-G on Windows or Command-G on Mac to quickly jump to recent conversations across chats and channels. In this menu, Diego can create a new chat or channel. He can also use Control-N on Windows or Command-N on Mac to create new chats from anywhere in Teams. With the introduction of the Mentions view, we've made it easy to catch up on the most important conversations that need your attention. This view shows Diego all the chats and channels where he was personally mentioned. He can go through them one by one to review the conversations that need his attention. Conveniently, he can open the conversation where he was mentioned in the side pane, getting the full context and respond directly. The new Chats and Channels experience lets you adapt the list to your preferences. We've introduced the ability for you to create your own custom sections. Diego has multiple projects running at any given time, and it can be difficult to organize and track conversations related to each one. So he would like to create a new section for a project he is working on, which he can do by using this dropdown. Now, he can name the section. After the section is created, he can easily pull in any conversation related to this project, whether it's chats, channels, or meeting chats. He can also reorder sections depending on what he wants to see higher or lower in his list. Right now, he wants to prioritize the marketing deck prep section, so he can pull it to the top of the list. Depending on his preferences, Diego can easily switch from the Teams and Channels hierarchy view to a flat list of his most recent channels. This lets him track channels by most recent activity. In this view, general channels appear with their team name to differentiate between them. Through settings, he can easily customize his experience by turning on message previews or timestamps. He can choose to stay in the combined chat app or he can switch to separate chat and Teams apps. When he's on the go and using Teams on mobile, all of Diego's sections carry over from desktop. Similar to desktop, chat and channels are combined. With chats above, 
and teams and channels below. He can catch up on his most important unread messages across chats and channels with the unread filter. Like on desktop, Diego can customize his mobile experience by choosing to stay in the combined chat app or switching to separate apps. He can choose to turn on message previews and timestamps. These settings don't have to be the same as his settings on desktop. The new chats and channels experience is simple by default, powerful on demand, so he can stay on top of all conversations and collaborate efficiently with Microsoft Teams. And that's how the new chats and channels experience helps Diego stay on top of his information, focus, and collaborate efficiently with Microsoft Teams. Now, I'm going to hand things back to Derek to share how onboarding is going to work. Thank you, Diana. We can't wait for everyone to try it out. We understand this is a change, and we want to ensure all users have a smooth onboarding to the new experience, and that all organizations have changed management guidance to get your users ready. A self-service guided onboarding flow within the product will help users discover the new experience and configure it to their preferences. Users who prefer to keep chat and channels separate can easily do so during the onboarding process or at any time later without needing IT assistance. When the new experience is available in your tenant, this screen will display to users. The Get Started button takes users to the new combined chat teams and channels list in chat and shows where they can create custom sections to organize their topics. The last step in the onboarding sequence highlights to the user the location of the new controls and teams where they can further customize the experience to fit their preferred style. Users will have the option to defer the new experience up to three times over the course of approximately three days with the do it later button, providing flexibility while also moving the organization as a whole to the new experience together over several days. A reminder dot will appear on the more list options menu and in the menu, the customize view button is marked with a badge to try it. Every user has a unique way of working. Customize Teams chat and channels to align with your personal workflows with these new controls. You can choose to view chat and channels separately and turn on message previews and timestamps. You can have different settings on your desktop and mobile device to suit your needs in each case. And if you're using the separate chat and Teams views, you can still access the great enhancements we showed you today. You can still use the filters and the mentions view to triage and you can organize your list with custom sections. You can still use the new message and go to commands to navigate quickly across conversations in chats or channels. There are several resources to help users, champions, IT pros, and Teams admins transition and make the most of the new chat and channels experience. Follow these links to learn more and access these resources. The new chat and channels experience is available in public preview. Join the hundreds of customers who are using the new chat and channels experience and try it out today. Thank you, and we are so excited to hear from you.